Hello lovely ladies, how are you all doing today? Hold on, I'm trying to put this back. Okay. So how are you guys doing? Um how did your weekend go? Hope you guys had a fun day. A fun weekend. Hold on, let me close this window a little bit. Because I know some of you are gonna have to complain like uh, your face is so white. Okay, I just closed my window. Um, I'm here to make a review. I don't know. I don't know where my standard is. Okay, you know the my video standard. So I'm actually holding this with my hand, but I just recently moved. Okay, so I still have a lot of things to like unpack and all that. But <clears throat> but anyway, I just want to like you know throw all this information to you guys and um, you know um, lemon. Most of you guys know this lemon? Yeah? Yeah, of course you all know this. Apple cider vinegar. These two things, I just started using these two things. It's not like I just have known about it, but recently I started using it more. This is really, really nice, both for skin, both for bikini area, okay? Both for that part okay <laughs> did i just see that but anyway wherever you want to like lighten naturally so for some of you who are like really scared of like trying to um you know you're scared of like chemical like all this harsh chemical i would say you should try mixing this how i do this it's not like like if you're really trying to lighten like my, you know like michael jackson lightning this won't take you there but for people that just want to like tone out a little bit, like cleans out your skin a little bit, this will actually help, okay? Originally how I do this, like when I, after shower, I clean my body, I use this. I mix, they have a cup in my bathroom. I mix like the two of them. So I just like use it all over, okay? Even sometimes on my face. I don't do it most of the time on my face, but some, like today I just did it on my face. Actually, this is probably the second time I've did it on my face, but you know, I had this breakout because of my, you know, stuff. So I just like dab it here on the this pimple and then just put a little bit here it's a little bit stingy you know but it's not that much even when you put it on your the first time especially, especially the first time we say you put it on your on your skin it sting a little bit but you know it's just something anybody can handle okay um i started using this for soon around my bikini especially after i shaved okay this really helps to um for the bombs okay so you wouldn't like have bombs okay um but it's just something you have to be constant with it because sometimes when I shave and I forget to put this, you know, I still have bones on there. But it helps. It's not like maybe I just have to be constant and maybe put it morning and night. So right now I put it like every you know once a day or sometimes I even forget I put it once every three two days, you know. So that I can still see the effect. So I know it's just something we use it like every day. It will work. So for you the guys that you know like black people because we have this coily hair, especially you know, especially for black America or black African people yeah so sometimes when you shave it's just hard if you don't shave right if you don't like move the if you don't move um your shaving stick or whatever in a nice way it i don't you know recently i don't even use shaving stick because usually when i use shaving stick it's crazy okay so i usually use na to just you know take especially my bikini area i use na and then on my underarm i use um the tweezer you know like the electric tweezer I just tried to use my last week, but um, it couldn't start. I've had that for a year. It lasts a lot. So, no, I've had that for probably more than a year. It lasts a lot, but I plugged it in recently and it couldn't work. So I just use them now on, on my MP2. Not now, um, the other one. Oh, what is that called? I know I have now too, anyway. They have oh, Vite. Oh, Vite. Vite. So that's the one I use. It's more expensive, so I just felt because it's more expensive, it will work better. But, you know, I use now. The first time I used now, it broke me out, so that's why I went to Vite. But I, I got now recently too, so I'm going to use it next. I just finished. The now I have just got finished, so I'm, I'm going to start using. Sorry, the Vite I have just finished, so I'm just going to start using the now. But anyway, so that's what I use on my bikini area, you know, to shave. I don't use whenever I use um, shaving stick. My friend, the other time she said I should get like a shaving stick that have like four blades or something like that. That that's what she used. That she used to have bombs before, and then she started using the shaving stick that have more blade, and you know, it it works. You know, it's, she stopped breaking out or you know having bumps. So I tried that, but it still doesn't help. So 
so now work for me anyway and um, yeah so after shaving and um, before I put like alcohol you know like they have all this alcohol you can buy bikini area alcohol too you can buy I got my at um, Amazon and then after that you can put this but recently I stopped using alcohol too okay so after shaving I just put this there after shaving first take a shower okay I don't know how you shave you can shave in the shower you can whatever but after taking out your hair make sure you scrub I have this scrub um, hold on I'll, I'll show you guys it's going okay so so I use the scrub you see how yeah it's this is like a kind of a tough scrub you know just put it in you know it has like the elastic um, you know the end is elastic so I just kind of wear it like a glove oh it's dripping so that one is kind of a hard scrub this one I use like everyday scrub okay so sometimes I use this one but when I just want to like get it in deep there I use the harder one this one you can find this one you can also find maybe at Walmart I can't remember where I got this one but this is the one I, I usually see like everywhere okay so you can also use this and like really they scrub it like really hard um, then after that when you come out from the shower then you put these two things just mix it up I have a cup that I mixed two of them so you just like yeah mix it up and use a cutting board you know at first I use a cutting board but recently I just like pour it on my hand and kind of you know put it all over as a cream okay like you're putting a cream but I just you know men like I said this I usually put it there when I shave and you know maybe one week you know like one week after shaving and uh, once uh, let's say two times a week I just put it all over my body I think it's just a nice cleanser like it feels good when you put it in and you know it's also helped like keep your skin um from any bacteria and whatever it's just like a cleanser anyway and they also like tone your skin a little bit too kind of in a natural way okay but um but if you have like any bombs or you know maybe you shave and your skin start having bombs or whatever or you have all this white spot like there are a lot of things you know just put it on you feel it after let it dry it, it dries fast anyway i don't even let it dry just put it on and then put my cream on top okay because i just i won't, don't pour it on yourself just put it a little bit and then let it dry or oh, don't let it dry just put your cream on top okay yeah but um yeah but i'm seeing like it's really nice for if you have like bombs eczema like whatever um you're trying to turn out naturally you know i wouldn't say you should mix that the other time i was trying you know to see if i can mix it on my cream but no I won't say you should miss it on your cream, just put it on first and then you put your cream, okay? Um, what else do I want to say about this thing? Anyway, um, another thing, after putting this on your bikini area, try to find like a nice oil to put on your bikini area so it will feel dry, okay? I will say sun, um, which one? Like if you have, like the one I put, I said I put it recently, sandalwood, sandalwood oil okay like you know that one I um, I bought from Amazon you can also put in there but any other oil don't coconut oil you're probably gonna darken the place that's the only oil I won't put in the coconut oil but other oil probably even rose rose oil or whatever I mean um, olive oil too you can also like put it there I won't put almond oil just because I know that almond oil breaks me out but it doesn't break you know there lot it doesn't break my mom out okay but when I put almond oil on my face it breaks me out so that's why I won't put it there but you know you know whatever nice essential oil you have you can just put it there just so it won't be dry because if it if it's if your bikini area is dry you get more bumps too so you know after putting all this treatment you should also like try to um, keep it moisture and moisturize it okay um okay that's all love you guys and i'll talk to you guys later how do i outfit could somebody tell me how <laughs>